Okay, hi friends, my name is Brian and today I'm going to be reviewing a uh, DeWalt uh, hand tap and its handle. I um, had some great neck taps, but quite frankly they suck. I don't remember who I bought them from. Might have been Amazon, might have been Home Depot. But uh, anyway, I am building some uh, parts for my bus. You can check out my blog at autobus.us. That's autobus.us. Um, I needed to make this plate to mount my retrofit lights on. And, you know, it's quarter inch aluminum. Ordered it from metaldepot.com. That was about $40. Shaped it with a uh, sawzall, or not sawzall, a jigsaw and um, drilled holes by hand. It's really making me miss my CNC mill. It's just a lot of work by hand. So uh, I needed to mount the lights and I decided, well, you know, it's quarter inch thick aluminum. I'll go ahead and and uh, drill and tap holes for 832 second screws or 8-32 screws. That's a number eight screw, 32 threads per inch. And uh, you know, I never like to do a tapping job with just one tap on hand because that guarantees you'll break the tap, which I, I did break a tap. Um, I tried to put it in my drill. That was bad. It serves me right. So anyway, I am almost done tapping these and I'm tapping them by hand and uh, this is a really nice handle and these are good quality taps and Home Depot actually carries these for about five dollars a tap and the handle was about fifteen dollars. Um, and it comes with a number 29 drill and the the tap and the drill is good enough that I actually got 32 holes out of it in uh, quarter inch thick um, 6061 aluminum. Um, it's pretty impressive. It's good stuff. So um, anyway, so what I'm going to do is I'll just put a couple, uh, I'll tap a couple of these. And if you are not a machinist and you watch my videos, tapping is the name for putting threads in a hole. And you can see I've I started it and then I'm twisting it. It's a little bit hard on my hands. And uh, well, this one's going pretty easy. Some of these go easier than others. So I like to run the tap. I've run it probably three quarters of an inch down. I like to run it back and forth through the through the threads. And the basic concept is you cut a hole that's the right size, and then you run this um, very special bit through here, and it cuts threads into the side of the metal. And um, there are other ways to cut threads, but this is the dominant way that most threads are installed. Um, so a little bit of pressure here, and then we just turn. Now, there are other things you can do with a tap, and this one's showing its classic difficulty. Um, the other thing you can do is you can use it to clean up threads. So if you have dinged the threads on something, you can actually clean them up with a tap. And if it's a bolt or a screw that you need to fix, it's called a die. And um, there are different kinds. Um, for the most part, in small screws, everything's going to be NC. Um, don't really know what NC stands for. But you can see it's really not that bad. It just hurts my hands because I have carpal tunnel. Um, my right hand has been fixed. Um, it didn't make it perfect. It just made it better. So um, that's pretty much it. I think I've got all these tapped. Yep, so these are all tapped. And um, I'm using uh, a Harbor Freight chip brush. And the reason it's called chip brush is it is specifically very good at getting rid of the chips um, when you're milling. And, um, you know, these are good just basic brushes, but they are actually for this purpose. Um, so uh, with that, I've got space for, for lights, and so it'll be two amber lights for turn signal on the outside, followed by four uh, combination marker and stop lights followed by two reverse lights here and um, my next step is to wash this really good 
and I've got a second one sitting right here that's already been tapped. And uh, then I will prime it with uh, aluminum friendly primer that etches and primes and uh, then I will uh, paint it and get it installed. So uh, in the meanwhile, thanks for watching and uh, oh by the way, if you like my videos don't forget to subscribe and um, feel free to share them in other places. Um, I am using a new uh, remote microphone. I'm using an Audio-Technica System 10. It was about a $400 investment. That's actually what I use the, um, the money I make on, my, on the ads on these videos is typically to pay for the tools I use to shoot the videos. Um, so I hope you've enjoyed my video and uh, again this is a DeWalt uh, tap um, it's a DWA 1402 and I don't know what the part number of the handle was. Um, one of the things that's really nice about the handle is it has a spring uh, detent here that holds it together. Um, a lot of a lot of these things are just floppy and they fall apart. This one's a really good this is well made. Um, still not as good as a spiral cut tap. Um, and I'm actually going to order those, some of those from Rex uh, Tool Supply. Um, a spiral cut tap has, it looks like a drill bit, but it's a tap. And um, I find them to be just a little bit better than this type here.